Hey all, in this video, um, we're learning how to set up the plot for a fit line for some raw data that we fit with um, a linear model. So I have my raw data over here, and that's the data that I fit into this formula y equals mx plus b. Um, and I came out with a best fit line whose slope was 5 and whose intercept was 1. So slope is m, intercept's b. And now I want to construct um, x, y data I can put into Plotly and plot to make the line. So I have this, and I need to create some x, y data for the fit line. So um, we found m and b, and we know y equals mx plus b. So, when we set up our fit line, we're actually going to keep x's as they are, and we're going to solve for the y's. So I'm calling it y sub fit. Um, if we think about this formula, we can think about it, um, I mean, I know that we know that they're called, they can be called functions, but we can think about it really like a function, in that the input um, is x. If we already know m and b, for any x we put into this formula, we come out with some y. Okay, so the input is x and the output's y. Um, so if we input x as sorry, if we input x as one, two, three, four, five, we should split out the y's that belong to the line of the fit. So x's we're gonna copy right over. And now y's we want to solve for, and we know y equals mx plus b, so we can do mx plus b. Um, something I'm going to do, because I know I'm going to make a formula in the first one and drag it down, I'm going to make, I'm going to drag these ones down so I can use them on every row. Um, if you know about fixed references and things, you know, you can speed this up. You don't have to drag things all the way down, but this is the most basic way of... Um, setting up data for a fit line. And so, since I drag them down, y on each line will be created by these three numbers, mx plus b, right? So let's solve the equation. I'm going to put equals, and it's m, oops, that's not it, equals m times x plus b. Awesome. We can drag it down and it solves for each row. <clears throat> you see we go to row 4, row 5, row 6. So each row is using these numbers to solve for y fit. So now we're ready to go bring it over into Plotly. Um, we have our best fit line data and we have our raw data which is like scatter plot data. So I think it's worth showing the scatter plot so we can see if our best fit line fits. Okay, so in Plotly, they won't let you right click and paste. There's no button for it. But you can just um, use Control V or Command V or whatever it is uh, you use, depending on if you have Mac or Windows. Oh, it looks like I got an extra row. Um, so here's just my scatter plot data, and I want to make a scatter plot, plot, a scatter plot trace of it, so I can plot my best fit line on it. So there's A is my x data, B is my y data. So there's the scatter plot, and then um, we can copy this data. See, x's are the same for both of these, so we don't need to copy x over again. Control V, and now I can add a trace of the line. See, trace zero, this is the scatter plot, so it's type scatter. Trace one is going to be a line, so we'll choose line type. Our x data is A, and now our y data is C. 
and there does we see our line fits through our data. So we have this raw data. We can make a fit with it. That's not done in this video. It's done in other um, videos or other lessons. We learn how to do fit lines. But once we have M and B from some uh, linear fit, we can construct these Y's with the X's that we already have. And with M and B, we can make Y's so that we have a line that'll that'll be our best fit line so that we can plot our best fit line we basically we have it we have M and B but we can't plot it because we can't ask plotly to plot things that aren't columns of numbers so we can't just give it M and B we have to give it numbers that are on that line so we make those numbers and then we can throw them in plotly and plot anyway that concludes this video